स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स इन चैप्टर फ्रैक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन टॉपिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शन कन्वर्जन सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शन एंड कंपेरिजन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन नाउ इफ आई आस्क फॉर्म यू compare these two fractions 3 upon 5 and 7 upon 5 now which is greater now you can see here denominators are same so we will compare numerators numerator 7 is greater so this means 7 upon 5 is greater now If I ask from you, now compare these three fractions. We don't know how to compare these three fractions, so to compare these three fractions or more than two fractions, we will learn our today's topic, which is ascending and descending order. Now, students. in ascending and descending order first of all we will do when like fractions are given and then when unlike fractions are given now let's take one example when like fractions are given 12 upon 8 7 upon 8 and 3 upon 8 now students you can see here denominator is 8 which is same in all the three fractions so this means these are like fractions now when like fractions are given we will compare the numerators now first of all we have to write down ascending order for ascending order we will see which number is smaller now we will arrange the number from smaller to greater now see which is smaller yes 3 so first of all we will write here 1 this means this is number 1 now compare these two numerators which is smaller yes 7 is smaller so we will write down here 2 and at the end this will be 3 so ascending order will be number 1 is 3 upon 8 number 2 is 7 upon 8 and number 3 is 12 upon 8 now we have to arrange these fractions in descending order also so for this we will arrange these fractions from greater to smaller now again denominators are same so we will compare the numerators which numerator is greater yes 12 is greater so this means this will be your number 1 fraction and now compare these two fractions 7 upon 8 and 3 upon 8 which fraction is having greater numerator yes this one so this will be number 2 and this will be number 3 students i have written numbering above for ascending order and down i have written for descending order so now we will write down descending order number 1 is 12 upon 8 number 2 is 7 upon 8 and number 3 is 3 upon 8 so in this way we can arrange the numbers in ascending order now let's take one more example when fractions are unlike 2 upon 5 3 upon 10 7 upon 2 now students you can see here denominators are different so this means these are unlike fractions so 
So, in case of unlike fractions, first of all, we will take out the LCM of the denominators. So, we will take out the LCM of denominators 5, 10 and 2. Now, we will see on which table these numbers come. Yes, 10 and 2 comes on 2 tables. So, we will take 2 as a divisor. On 2 table, 5 doesn't come. So, we will bring 5 down as it is. On 2 table, 10 comes on 5. 2 5s are 10. So, below 10, we will write down 5. On 2 table, 2 comes on 1. Now, next is 5 and 5. 5 comes on 5 table. So, we will take 5 as a divisor. 5 1s are 5. 5 1s are 5. Now, what will be the LCM? LCM is equal to 2 multiplied by 5, which will be 10. So, LCM is 10. So, first of all, we will draw one line and LCM, that is 10, we will write down in the denominator. In the numerator, we will write down 2 multiplied by box, comma, 3 multiplied by box, comma, 7 multiplied by box. Now students, what we will write down in these three boxes, for this, we will use our two fingers. First, we will keep on LCM, that is 10. And second, we will keep on the circle denominators. Now, on 5 table, 10 comes on. Yes, 2. So, in the box, we will write down 2. 5, 2s are 10. Now, next circle digit is 10. On 10 table, 10 comes on 1. 10, 1s are 10. So, we will write down here 1 in the box. Now, next circle digit is 2. On 2 table, 10 comes on 5. 2, 5s are 10. So, in the box, we will write down 5. Now, next step is multiply. Now, let's do multiply. 2 twos are 4. 3 ones are 3. 7 fives are yes, 35. So, first of all, we will multiply the numbers and we will write down the answers. Now, we have to arrange in ascending order and in descending order. Now, ascending order means small to big. Now, first of all, we will see which number is smaller. Now, let's compare these three numbers. Now, which is smaller? Yes, 3. So, first of all, we will write down here 1. Now, compare these two numbers, which is smaller? Yes, 4. So, we will write down here 2 and this will be 3. And same numbering, we will write down in the statement. This is number 2. So, we will write down here 2. This will be 1 and this will be 3. Now, we have to write down the answer. That is ascending order. So, ascending order will be number 1, 3 upon 10. Number 2, 2 upon 5. And number 3 is 7 upon 2. Now, we have to arrange it in Descending order also. Descending order means big to small. Now, again compare these three numbers. Which is greater? Yes, 35. So, we will write down here 1. Now, in between 4 and 3, which is greater? Yes, 4. So, we will write down here 2 and this will be 3. Same numbering we will write down in the 
statement that was given in the starting. So this will be 2, this will be 3, this will be 1. So now let's write down descending order. Descending order will be number 1, 7 upon 2. Number 2, 2 upon 5. And number 3 is 3 upon 10. So students, today we have learnt how to write the given fractions in ascending order and descending order. Now, you are able to do the related homework that we have sent to you in your SNAP homework. But students, before starting the homework, please go through the YouTube links that are mentioned in your SNAP homework. Have a nice day. Thank you.